Well, hello there, YouTubers. It is I, the one, the only, Big D, the Big D. Coming to you live and in person from his palatial palace, which is two puppies here at home. I've been home now for about a week, and I'll be home next week, too, getting some things done I had to take care of. Some of it was legal issues, um, dealing with family member, and uh, we had to come in here and uh, do some legal maneuvering I guess you could call it and uh <laughs> yeah yeah well, that was fun but we got that handled and uh I'm doing some work to the van I had that throttle body I replaced I did a video on Hitachi I got the $250 throttle body put it on there and yeah after about 4,000 miles I had all kinds of issues I mean if I'd start to break the RPMs would rev up I'm thinking I may have a booster problem so I eventually just, you know, brought it back. Hey, Benj, stop digging in my yard. My puppy's back there digging a hole. <laughs> I got to sow grass in here today, too. I'm putting in a drain over there, and I'm putting one in there. Then I'll sow that with grass, so when water runs down off this hill, it starts to come into the yard right there. It'll drain back out. But back to the, the um, Benji, you're nuts. That's my big boy. Uh <laughs> Mom's going to kill him. Uh, anyway, uh, and I was having these issues with it, so I basically, they first tried to replace it. They sent the wrong one, took twice as long to get it. I told them, hey, I got to get the van back on the road, so I just want my money back. And they gave me my $250 back. I immediately walked across the street to the Ford dealer and bought the factory part for $89.95. Came to $96 with tax. So let's just round it to 100 bucks, 100 and 250. I saved 150 dollars and bought the factory one, installed it, and I got the gasket too. I threw theirs away. I like the factory gasket better, and put that on. It was eight bucks, and uh, it's running great. I mean, it's running fine. But Tuesday, she's going in for a few days because I'm going to have them drive it. I want them to go out and put it through its paces. And I want them to do a deep scan on it with their scan tool that goes in and sees everything stored and everything that AutoZone these places can't pull up. So I want to get that done. And uh, then next, not this Monday, but next Monday, she'll be back in service. But we've talked about pay, and I've got people who love to basically, you know, tell you about pay. And I'm going to make it easy because I'm just going to block out the nonsense. But you can see it, you know driver pay details okay 914 through 920 39 50 85 that's exactly what i told you this is the washout and at that time now like i said i've only been there for about a month and i took two weeks off to go on vacation so there's the year-to-date net pay okay so there's that one now, I did basically, as you can see here, I'm going to block it so you can see it. To do, to do, to do, four loads. Okay? Four loads on that one. Now, this is one I got when I came back from vacation, and I my daughter came home, and now since she was pregnant, yeah, bees. Ah. And uh, I did two loads. And the only reason I'm going to show you this one is because. It shows something that I've talked about on here, but let's see. Block this all out. Let's block it. I want it just to show what you need to see. That was when the year-to-date pay was. That, that was 831 through 96. The daughter came home. I ran two loads for $616.30. My net pay at that time was 4000 Okay? Now... Here is where I have issues with people, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm making all this money per mile nonsense, okay? Yeah, you can do it. Here, I'm going to show you one. I'm going to just make it real easy to see. There we go. Load number, da-da-da-da, 150 miles, $250. Okay, woo, there goes the paperwork. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's more than a dollar a mile. But if you'll notice up there... We only did $616. And that's the problem with 
Yep, just drop them all over the place. And that's the problem I talk about on here with doing shorties. Yeah, if you can get enough of them, you can make money. Problem is getting enough of them. There, I did it, and uh, I was out of service and did the other load. Tim booked it, and I went ahead and did it. Took me up to Buffalo, and that's when I started having issues with the van, believe it or not. But uh, there's that one. Okay, I talked about a, uh, a load. Let's get this one up here. Four loads. Let me get this all done. See if we can get this so you can actually see it. Okay. Nine, seven through nine, 13, four loads, 23, 83 65 very easy week i only did four loads didn't drive many miles great week then my year to date was 69 or 63.95 okay let's see let me find oh so that one's that one let's see if i'm gonna make sure we get all these for you to see because i just did the i don't have many because i just started here okay and i could produce you know a bunch of them that show you know ridiculous amounts of per mile rates when i first started in the chevy city express but in a fairness of full disclosure i am producing my washouts and i all the other youtubers out there if you're going to tell people about all the money they're making and how rich they're getting why don't you show this now i did two loads as you can see and i had to come off the road 1506 dollars 921 through 927 my year to date is about 12,000. Okay. So I've done this in a period of about six weeks. And I took off six pay periods, $12,000. I'm averaging over 2,000 um, a week. And, you know, that's acceptable. I mean, uh, do I want to make 3,900 every week? You sure I do, but that's not going to happen. Okay. Let's just get realistic out here. But I want to average between twenty-five and three thousand. I'm averaging right now about twenty-seven ninety-five a week, twenty-eight hundred bucks. So I'm happy with that. Now you may not be. You may be happy making very little. But at that money, I I do very well, and I'm pretty happy. And I'm, those are realistic. Those are actually washout seats. I said I was going to produce them, and there they are, washout seats. That being said. I challenge all the rest of the people on there talking about their, you know, all this money they're making. See, every company does their washout. Barrett's looks different than this. This is what Paxton's look like. Okay. Barrett's are different than this. Uh, I'm sure um, XPO's are different. Bailey, quit digging in my yard, Bailey. Bailey. That's my little turd. Quit digging in my yard. He goes, it's my yard, Daddy. I'm going to dig my way to China. But, uh, you know, everybody's are different. But you can pretty much tell if they're authentic. And I've uh, basically produced these. And when people ask, I'll produce them. Why won't they? Like I said, it's easy to sit here and say, you know, I drove a 1,000 miles, made $1,500, averaged $1.50 a mile, all miles. Where's the proof? Hmm. No proof. That's why I, I warn you, be careful what you listen to on these channels because this is what you're going to get. You know, I'm not going to bullshit you. There's enough bullshitters out there. I just produced the paperwork to prove it. And uh, I could actually go in and let you see the direct deposits in my bank account. But I don't think there's any need because there you have it. You guys... If you're going to get in this industry, know the truth. Know the truth. You know, there's a lot of big talk, but these people are all using the same damn load boards. Everybody's using the same Selectus, you know. Uh, you got a bunch of running Millhouse crap. Uh, you know, it's, it's whatever you feel comfortable with and you're happy with, go do it. Don't listen to me. If you're, you want to run with Millhouse, be my guest. If you're happy there, God love you. Doesn't affect me. Okay? But that's what you want to do. Go do it. I prefer to do what I'm doing. 
Now, why? Because I do better. At the end of the year, my 1099, which is what you'll be, your contractor, my 1099 will be bigger than the rest of theirs. Well, you had to work more. Like I said before, if you work at Target, the guy working 20 hours will make less than the guy working 60. Can't imagine why. But the truth is the truth. And I said I'd do it, so there you go. I'm fulfilling what I said I would do. My next video is going to be the install on the Chinese diesel heater. Heater. So you can see how easy it is to put this thing in. So you don't go out and spend a lot of money paying somebody to do something you can do yourself in an hour. <laughs> Once you see this done, you'll be like, that's it? That's it? I could have done that? No kidding. Why did I pay $350 to get someone to do it? Well, that's a good question. So I'm going to do that so you can save money. I'm also going to put an inverter in. I want you to see how easy that is to install. Once you see that, you're going to be saying the same thing. Why would I pay someone to do this? Good question. You don't. It's very easy. Uh, but the thing is, is that we're out here trying to help you save money, make good decisions, and uh, tell you, you know, what the realistic numbers are. You're going to have people tell you all kinds of bullshit. But the reality is, not one of them has produced any paperwork to back it up. None. And my question is, why not? Why don't you put it out there? I did. Maybe you should too, guys. There's more than one of you. Let's start seeing the uh, washouts. I challenge you. You saw mine. Now let's see yours. That being said, subscribe to the channel. Like the channel. Leave comments. It helps the algorithm because it gets it out there so people can uh, basically see these channels i uh, appreciate the recent uh, subscribers especially the one that said hey i subscribe because i appreciated your honesty well you know that makes me feel good because that's what i'm trying to be out here i'm trying to be honest with you guys gotta fill the hole in the dogs just dug <laughs> you little turds uh i'm trying to be honest with you guys so you don't come out here and fail i mean this this industry has over a 90 percent failure rate wonder why because people come out expecting to make millions of dollars and don't and then they don't know why well i gotta clean this up here this is going to be uh graded down and all this is going to get graded out and it's going to look like that nice mode areas behind there but uh, back to this i mean you, you're wondering why they're not making that kind of money well you're not making it because it was not practical that's why I mean, you know, like I said before, I've, I've ran 500, I mean, $500 to drive 50 miles one time. That's $10 a mile, folks. All in. Whoa. Yeah. Happened once in four years. <laughs> so, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, even a blind squirrel will find an acorn. But you got to realize what's going to be the average. If you're running 85 and... uh to a dollar and a dollar will be a far reach but if you're getting this kind of rate you're, you're doing good you're making money now the other trick to it is don't go out and buy a brand new van well you bought yours and you're having to do some work to it uh yeah i'm working on the throttle body it's a common issue with these vans <laughs> so uh and i'm having it looked at but i had to be home to uh basically it was a family matter in courtroom and uh we had to take care of our sister-in-law. So we did that. And I'm looking at a, uh, a new motorhome. So while we're out, I'm looking at that. But, uh, yeah. And we got stuff to do with the soap stores. I had to get taken care of. Taxes and stuff to pay. But, uh, like I said, you have to decide for you. This is Big D saying, let's go make monies. But let's not listen to all the hype, bullshit, and chatter on the outside because most of it's exactly the hype, chatter, and bullshit. Till next time, Big DC in. Let's go make it.